How to easily create a fillable digital planner. So hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel and for today I will teach you how to create a fillable planner using Canva. So with no further ado, let's get into this. So what you want to do is you could go to your browser and type in Canva. Now, since we are going to create a digital planner, it's either you could use a daily planner or weekly planner. It all depends on you. Now, if you are planning to create and sell it on Etsy or somewhere, then I recommend you to create from scratch or you create your very own design from scratch. Now, if you only use it for yourself and do not sell it to anyone, then I could recommend you to just go with the pre-made. So let's search for a pre-made here. Now, before we really dive into this, I just want to give you a little background on what is Canva. So Canva is a free-to-use online graphic design tool. And you use it to create a social media post, presentation, posters, videos, logo, and more like digital planner. And Canva makes branding images as simple as drag and drop. So you really don't have to um, acquire a in-depth knowledge in creating or using Canva. So whether you choose to use your logo, your social media handles, or any hashtag, what was once in a time-consuming task, this will only take few of your time. For example, you could just actually get it and then use it. But you are not allowed to sell it but if you really want to sell it somewhere then you could create a design your own from scratch since we are just going to create for ourselves then we could just type in here it's either weekly planner or daily planner just type in there i want to create a daily planner and here are the examples for the daily planner you have monthly planner, the weekly planner. If you scroll all the way down, then if you're patient enough, then I recommend you to really scroll through this because there's a lot of fantastic designs, amazing designs. Now, if you want to avail these amazing templates, then if you see a crown here, that means you need to upgrade your Canva to Pro and you have to pay for the plan. Now, since we are just going to stick with free, then you choose those who do not have anything so let's just scroll up again so let's say i want to use this one so as you can see this is very minimal so scroll here now if you want to put the design on it then you can do so see this they have lines for that so let's say i want to use a color for that so let's go to elements here and search for square and then you could manipulate it now drag it here and then we could change the color to let's say let's have a greeny pastel green let's go for pastel green here that one now we're here you could put this at the back so you could see these circles here so you position it at the back and that's it Let's just drag it a little bit here, drag it there. Now you have your planner here. So if you want to change the font, then you could do so. So let's just say you want to use that one or this one. Then you could do that. Same with this. All you have to do is manipulate. So let's say you want to put or add a design. So let's say a flower, I guess. Let's create a flower. Just a simple flower, I guess. Now you click on the flower here, we resize this a little bit, then you could put it anywhere you want, make it to brown I guess, then you could put it here, or anywhere you want, and you could add, let's say clouds, you could have this cloud here, so you have to make sure that you have downloaded it on PDF standard here, you click on PDF standard, then download now if you check on this this is how our weekly planner will look like now what we want to do is to fill this with text and as you can see you cannot type in on anything this to make it a more digital then i recommend you to go here on pdfescape.com so all you have to do is to type in here pdf escape then here as you can see you will see this one 
the first thing that will come out then if you click on that you will be directed here now you may want to go directly online or if you want to save pdf escape as your editor for windows then you can do so because you can actually download it for free but for now let's just go with the free online now here you will be asked to either create a new pdf document since we already have a pdf document then we will upload our pdf document and you could drop your pdf here or you could choose a file then here let's just drop it so let's wait for our pdf to be processed and now this is how our pdf will be now pdf escape is a new way to open and edit pdf files online so pdf escape frees user from the typical software requirements for using the de facto document file format and pdf escape is a free online pdf is free um you could actually use it for pdf reading editor form filler and form designer so it is a new way to open and edit the pdf files and basically that is the purpose for pdf escape so what we want to do is we will fill some forms here as you can see you cannot input for example you want to do something on monday and you cannot actually input something there and even for the week and for the month so what you want to do is on the left side you will see this form field you click on the form field here and then if you want to just add a text box there then you use text now you design something like you don't have any dots here just an empty space and i recommend you to use text paragraph but since we have here this only lines then we could use text and create select now anywhere you put here you will add a text box so let's say you want to go with the month and as you can see the text box came out now you just have to adjust this one to your choice and then let's say just put everything here and then for example for monday then you edit it here drag it a little bit here then do the same thing over and over again to all the lines that you wish to input something or you may input something let's just drag it here and you could do so on and so forth for that because i will not include it here because it will take a lot of time so basically that is just how you put the form field to create or to make your planner more digital and what you want to do is click here to disable then you click that now if you click on this now you could actually input something now so what we want to do next is on the left side you will see this icons here go with the blue icon to save your document and wait for it to save now it's saved you go here to the green icon here that says save and download your pdf then save and download your pdf then if we click on that pdf that was unloaded the space is actually made here for example monday you want to have read pages 78 to 90 you could input anything here all you want now your planner is already on digital for month let's say may and for week let's say third week here and basically you have your own fillable digital planner that is all for today now you know how to create your own fillable digital planner so i hope this video is beneficial to you make sure to like this video subscribe to the youtube channel and leave a comment below with the best tips and tricks that i have taught you in this video also please share this video with your friends and family as well as other creators so that you may help them as well so i hope this video was useful and please leave a comment below if there is anything else you'd want to contribute and i'll see you in our next video thank you for watching